Hello everyone. Welcome to our program God is Love episode 15. My friends, the focus in this series God is Love is to reflect with you about God's love for his people. My friends, today we have yet another beautiful text from the book of 2 Samuel 7th chapter verses from 18 through 27 where we can see God's love for David the second king of the people of Israel and God elevating David to 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 the highest possible and David thanking the Lord for the promise that God made to David through the prophet Nathan now we will see the promise that God made to David through the prophet Nathan 7th chapter from the book of 2 Samuel 7th chapter we will read two verses verse 12 and verse 16 these are the words this is the promise that is made to david by god through the prophet nathan the prophet when your days have been completed and you rest with your ancestors i will raise up your offspring after you sprung from your lions and i will establish his kingdom now verse 16 your house and your kingdom are firm forever before me your throne shall be firmly established forever my friends here god is blessing david in two ways number 1 god promised david that he will make his name great and forever God promised David that he will make David's name strong and great. Secondly, God is also promising David that he would establish his throne, his kingdom through his descendants. Beautiful. Now David, having heard this promise through the prophet Nathan, was overwhelmed, so happy that he went straight into the Lord's presence, sat before the Lord and offered this prayer of thanksgiving this is a beautiful prayer of thanksgiving now the verses the text from this for this episode from the book of second samuel 7th chapter verses from 18 through 27 is a prayer of thanksgiving by david to god we now read the text Then King David went in and sat in the Lord's presence and said, Who am I, Lord God, and what is my house that you should have brought me so far? And yet even this is too little in your sight, Lord God, for you have made a promise regarding your servant's house reaching into the future and giving guidance to the people, Lord God. What more can David say to you? You know your servant, Lord God. For your servant's sake and as you have had at heart you have brought about this whole magnificent disclosure to your servant. Therefore great are you Lord God there is no one like you no god but you as we have always heard. What other nation on earth is there like your people Israel? What god has ever led a nation redeeming it as his people and making a name by great and awesome deeds as you drove out the nations and their gods before your people whom you redeemed for yourself from Egypt you have established for yourself your people Israel as your people forever and you lord have become their god now lord god confirm the promise that you have spoken concerning your servant and his house forever bring about what you have promised so that your name may be forever great people will say the lord of hosts is god over israel when the house of your servant david is established in your presence because you lord of hosts god of israel have revealed to your servant i will build you a house your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer before you having learned of god's promise to him through the prophet nathan 
king david went into the lord's presence right away my friends let us carefully observe david's attitude here david's posture here and david's words verse 18 and 19 then king david went in went in and sat in the lord's presence my friends david went straight into the lord's presence and sat down on the floor that shows his utter humility he was overwhelmed he was amazed at god's god's promise and yet he humbled himself he sat down and he's thanking the lord now we now carefully observe the words of david who am i o lord god and what is my house that you should have brought me so far who am i which means i am i am nothing o lord but you brought me so far you brought me to you brought me to this state to this stage you made me the king of all the tribes who am i i am a shepherd boy so this is was he was meaning he chose his total humility verse 19 and yet even this is too little in your sight o lord god for you have made a promise regarding a servant's house reaching into the future and giving guidance to the people o lord god my friends here david is overwhelmed he is overjoyed and yet he is not carried away by the lord's promise he was he was not filled with pride he didn't go proud pride didn't enter him rather it was humility it was his humility that made him to sit down before the lord and is praying to the lord o oh lord who am i you brought me so far david knew that he was a shepherd boy he was nothing and now today he was the king of all tribes of israel and now god is also assuring that he would name he would make his name great secondly he would establish his kingdom through through his descendants my friends here david humbled himself he went straight into the lord's presence sat down and pouring his prayer of thanksgiving oh lord who am i you brought me so far beautiful after humbling himself before the lord king david started praising the lord for his might and greatness we have the beautiful words here where david praised the lord in his prayer verse 22 therefore great are you o lord god there is no one like you no god but you as we have already heard here david not only humbled himself before the lord he acknowledged god's might and greatness and his power and he tells oh lord who is like you there is no one like you we know that you are the true god beautiful and then david went on begging the lord to to fulfill the promise that he made to him through the prophet nathan verse 25 Now Lord God confirm the promise that you have spoken concerning your servant and his house forever. Verse 27. Because you O Lord God of hosts God of Israel have revealed to your servant I will build you I will build you a house your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer before you. So now he takes courage David took courage to to pour it out before the Lord to fulfill the promise that he made to him to his descendants he took the courage on account of God's promise through the prophet Nathan my friends here David was overwhelmed he was overjoyed he was he was so happy that he went down himself he went down to his knees he sat down pray to the lord acknowledge god's greatness and finally is begging the lord to fulfill the promise that he made to him beautiful now what is our learning from today's text 
please know that our focus is not David, rather it is God himself. Having said this, we now see the learning points. Point 1. God chose David from the posture and made him the successor of Saul, the first king of the people of Israel. God chose David from the posture. He was a shepherd boy. And now God made him the king of the people of Israel. Second point. God gave David strength and power. Therefore, David defeated all the opponents. He defeated Goliath and he gave so many victories to the people of Israel. It was God who gave this power and strength to David. Point three. God gifted all tribes of Israel to David to be the king. And David ruled for about 40 years. He was the king of Israel for 40 years. He ruled from Hebron for about seven and a half years. And from Jerusalem, he ruled 33 years. All in all, David ruled the people of Israel for about 40 and a half years. Fourth point. Now, God promised that he would make his name, David's name, great and his dynasty, his kingdom last forever. What a great promise, my friends. He is making David's name great and he is promising now that he will make his dynasty, his kingdom last forever. This is God's doing to David. This is his love to David on account of David's humility and obedience. The final takeaway from this episode is this. Let us imbibe the attitude of King David, Who am I, O Lord? To Who is like you, O Lord? Through the humility and great trust and faith in the Lord, like David, we can win God's favor and love. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we give you praise. We adore you. We bless you. We make you our everything. We thank you for constantly calling us back to you, for showing us your eternal love, even, even when we reject you. You never give up on us. Your love is immeasurable, and if we can only strive to keep you in our mind, on our lips, and in our hearts, so as to draw us ever closer to your loving embrace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful episode of God is Love, episode 15. So what do we have? We have Nathan, the prophet, explaining to David that he will be the king of Israel. But more importantly, he will be his line, his genetic line will lead to the Christ, Jesus Christ. And the timeline there is over a thousand years which in God years, that's just the wink of the eye since God is outside of space and time. So, so you have this story, this account of David being entrusted with this momentous uh, event in, in the history of mankind. And, and why is that so important? Why, why, why does that um, embody God's love for his people because what God is doing is is spelling out to us a formula. Why was it David? Well, why God picked David very simply. It, it, we don't have to complicate this. Very simply because David trusted God without question and he gave his entire self to God. And God, in his infinite love, has rewarded him in the kingship of the Jews of, of Israel. 
So here's another example of, of God delivering on his promises. And the rest, as it said, is history. So we had G- Jesus in the line of David. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, Father Gudame did a wonderful job, as always. And the crew of JCKU is working very hard behind the scenes to put this together. And we hope you share this with your family and friends. There, there'll be more content coming in the, in the near future. The next episode will be, be out in two weeks. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. And we got another surprise for you. JCKU is praying for you. Please pray for us. Have a good day.